It's nothing personal, but Beata is new, so maybe there are some things that she doesn't understand. My experts assure me that there's no problem storing the sensor at room temperature, whereas Beata insists that it must be stored at 5 degrees. Of course. Let's get back to that in a moment, if we may. What about all the other issues? Delivery dates, colour, quantities, price? All fine. The colour isn't right for me, but I understand nothing can be done at this stage. As for everything else, well, storage is the only issue, really. I tried and tried to explain to Beata things are different here in Brazil. And it goes without saying, really. No guarantee, no sale. Absolutely. You've made that very clear. I hope so. I'm not happy, Daniel. I'm not happy at all. Matteo, may I ask a direct question? Daniel, you know me. No need to ask. What's your refrigeration capacity at the moment? Do you have enough storage space? I'll be honest. Storage space is a problem here, but that doesn't really matter. The issue is whether or not we have to refrigerate the diap sensors. And believe me, we don't. OK, look, don't worry, Matteo. I'm sure we'll come up with a solution. Let me do some calculations and speak to my people. And when you come over to Manchester next week, we'll talk some more, and I'm confident we'll come up with a solution. How does that sound? That sounds good. Just one thing, though. Yes? Please make sure it's not raining. <laughs> I'll see if I can schedule some sunshine. No promises, though. Speak to you soon. Bye, my friend. What's wrong? It sounded like you agreed with Mattel. That you think I don't know what I'm doing. What? No, no. You're completely in the right. I wanted to give Matteo the impression that I was neutral. Just to see what he would say. It's a tactic, that's all. Don't worry, I'm 100% on your side. <laughs>